Is it bad? Baby, is it bad? Should I go over it again? Can you tell it's gone? <laughs> is it bad? Hey Siri, how do you spell redemption? The special event is on Tuesday, April 20th at Apple Park in Cupertino, California. You can get all the details on apple.com. <laughs> Sounds right to me. If you're watching this on the toilet right now, which you probably are, hit subscribe and turn on all notifications to be part of the Toilet Squad. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech. FPT, Fapata, the show that gives you all this tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Man, what happened? We went from having no event and no news to all of a sudden Tim Cook just shitting news all over us. So, lots to cover in today's show. Let's do that. Jesus. I, I don't even know where to start for this episode, but here goes. Story numero uno. First up for the day. Uh, I shaved off my eyebrows. In case you missed it. Seriously, there have been new subscribers that come here every day that have no idea what's going on. Just saying, dude, what happened to your eyebrows? Well, this is what happened. I, along with a few other leakers, claimed that there would be an Apple event on March 23rd. In fact, I was so sure about that that I promised to shave off my eyebrows if I was wrong. And then on March 18th, I uploaded an episode of this show with an exclusive that Apple wasn't actually holding an event in March, that somehow we all got that March 23rd date wrong, that instead the event was in April. I had heard from a trusted source, one that has never been wrong before, that for the first time in about 10 years, Apple would be holding a special event in April. And of course, technically, even though I put that episode out before March 23rd, uh, since I learned that the event wasn't in March and that it was actually happening in April and that I was wrong about March 23rd in the first place, as promised, I shaved off ye old eyebrows. So it was March 17th, 18th-ish that I announced that Apple would be holding an event in April, and every day since then, every week since then, we have been waiting for some sort of announcement. The announcement took so long that everyone started to give up hope for an event. It was nearing the end of the month. We still had nothing. It wasn't looking good. But on my podcast with Sam Cole, Genius Bar, at the beginning of this week, I gave this little exclusive tidbit, which, by the way, is why you should definitely be listening to that show every week. Link down in the description. So I was told that Apple stores are preparing for a, uh, they, they, to keep it vague, <laughs> <laughs> they're preparing for some sort of product release uh, towards the end of next week. So that could mean we get an, an announcement this week mm. and it ships and releases next week. So here we are. We're down to the wire. All hope is lost. There's no event. There's no announcement for an event. And on top of that, the only person that said there was going to be an event happening in April was me and i'm the same guy that just publicly shaved off my eyebrows for getting the last date wrong and on top of that apple hasn't had an april event in 10 years so like uh the odds weren't looking very good but then it happened siri accidentally leaks the date of the event in the middle of the night. Fucking Siri, dude. Siri can't even tell me what the weather is half the time. And somehow she managed to leak the event early. What? But then later that day, Apple makes it official. We get the announcement. We get the invite. The April event, the first one in 10 years, is real. What an absolute train wreck. What a way to end this saga. This was the only true way to put this to rest. I mean, I got the April event right, but at what cost? I look like an inside out sock. Oh, and how about a bonus meme for this story? Bonus meme! This random Twitter DM of some dude telling me to stop reporting that there's an April event because there isn't one, and then right after Apple announced that it was happening, he just sent another message yelling, F <laughs> oh, oh, Sometimes, sometimes, guys, the best jokes write themselves. If you watch this show, then you already know I love WeVPN. And right now, it's their birthday! Woo! Happy birthday, WeVPN! 
It has officially been a full year since the guys at WeVPN left their day jobs over at those other VPN companies to instead create one of their own that they truly believe in. A super fast, super safe and secure VPN that actually puts its users first. And right now to celebrate their birthday, they're offering you the lowest price that they ever have. They're like, Happy birthday to us. Sure, we'll take less money. Get a two year plan at 73% off with two months free for just $2.69 a month. <laughs> 69. Even better, if you're watching Front Page Tech right now, you can get an additional 10% off just by going to wevpn.com slash FPT. WeVPN allows you to be protected and secure online, lets you unlock content from all of your favorite streaming services, and unlike the other guys, they don't keep any of your logs, so not even they know what you're doing. Out of a sea of VPNs all over the place, WeVPN is the only one that I truly believe in. So to get started today or to make the switch, link down in the description below, wevpn.com slash fpt, extra 10% off. Okay, hey, uh, welcome back. So uh, this, the second story of the day, uh, it's, um, it's a sad one. So a couple of months ago, I reported on this show that there would in fact be an iPhone 13 mini, whatever they call it. This year, 2021, Apple will be releasing another mini device, despite the fact that it has absolutely bombed in sales. But that is for this year, because next year, not so much. According to Quo Ming Chi, next year, Apple is leaving the iPhone mini behind like my dad left me at that McDonald's. I mean, yes, I think it's a great phone, but unfortunately, it's not great enough in this market. A market where phones are getting bigger, so big that we have to fold them now like a bunch of idiots. So iPhone mini, I hope you're listening. You deserve to know. It wasn't you, it was them. It was everybody else, it was the world. It's their fault for not appreciating you. So I dedicate this to you. Every night in my dreams, I see you. I feel you are for me days. I know you go on, oh God, why? Far across the distance and spaces between us, so many spaces you have come to show you. Go on, oh God. So I don't, I don't really know what that was. I don't know what happened, but I do know that it was cringe enough that we need to take a second. I'm just going to take a second to just like give us a break to recover from that. Let's just, let's not talk about that. It, let's just pretend it never happened. Okay. Let's just take a second. Uh, let's just recover from this. Okay. You good? I'm good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next story. All right, so last story of the day, story numero last, whatever that is. <laughs> You're gonna stop watching the show, I know it. You might remember a story from like a week or so ago talking about how the design for iPhone 13 had been finalized. The information came from Kang, who has a crazy accurate track record According to Apple Track, which by the way just got a new design, just go check it out. Uh, Sam, my bud, Apple Track, go click the th uh, in the description. You're welcome. And so it was just a matter of time. I mean, if it was in fact finalized, it wasn't going to be long before we started to see like final details, design, CAD renders leak, and we got them. We already have them because in back to back days, first with my smart price with their exclusive, and then with 91 mobiles, we have, it, mobiles, there's a mobile, or is it mobiles? It's mobiles, okay, had to check. We have 3D CAD renders of the iPhone 13 regular and iPhone 13 Pro. My smart price posted the CADs of the base model iPhone 13, and as you can see, 
It's kind of, you know, exactly what we expected. That smaller condensed notch with the speaker moved up into the top bezel that we've been seeing since my leak from last year, along with a slightly modified camera layout on the back. If you, I, I, I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, all right, that's a thing. The pro model iPhone, it's yeah, the same. It got a new notch and that's kind of it. Oh, it's thicker and the camera module is bigger. All right, cool. I don't care. But that's not all. We got even more images of the front panel, like the glass panel. You might remember this leak uh, from a few weeks ago, the front glass panels from Mac Rumors. Yeah, well, this one uh, comes from a completely different source and shows the exact same thing. And you know what they say, where there's smoke, there's a hobo. Anyway, yeah, same, it's the same panels. It's like the same thing. And I'm, it just leaves me wondering, what the hell? Like, what's happening? Is Apple just sort of giving these out at lemonade stands? How does everyone have these things? Where, where are they coming from? Either way, it, it does show us the small notch again. And just overall, the new design, I'm, I'm using air quotes over the word new. You can't see me right now, but I'm using air quotes. The new design looks pretty familiar and definitely resembles an S year for iPhones. So that's kind of it for the iPhone story. But hang on, don't don't go anywhere. Don't, don't leave. Wait. So uh, in the last episode, in the episode from a couple days ago, I put this new outro song in because sometimes sometimes I leave the regular end card and then sometimes I just put a fun song at the end if I want to end it that way. But the song that I found slaps, dog. And I paid like $20 for the song to license the song. And so I think it's great. You guys seem to like it on that episode, but I only played like 10 seconds of it because it was the end of the show and it was at the outro of the video. But I'm going to make you listen to all of it. We're going to sit here and listen to it together because it's so good. It's so good. I'm going to sit right here. Hang on. All right, so I'm sitting down here. I'll play the song for you now, and we'll just sit here and listen to it together. All right, here goes. That's it. It's pretty good, huh? That was a good song. All right. See you later.